It's pretty limitless what you can do with this telescope, and that's some of the modularity that was built into the, the design from the get-go. The Discovery Channel telescope was finished in February, and though no research has yet been commissioned, it is already attracting attention. Well, you know, Northern Arizona within the scientific community has always been known as a hotbed, uh, but definitely we're getting attention globally now uh, with the Discovery Channel obviously airing the show early this month, gave us broad exposure globally. The $53 million project means that Northern Arizona is now home to the fifth largest telescope in the continental United States. The greatest thing, though, is not just the variety of instruments that are on there. All the big telescopes have great instruments. It's the fact that you can switch from one to the other in a couple minutes. These advancements will augment all areas of research that currently go on at Lowell. It used to be you'd have to physically take off an instrument, take a half day where you put the telescope offline, put a new, uh, new instrument on. None of that anymore. They're all on there. You push a button, it switches instruments. Which means that if something's happening, like a gamma ray burst that happens, literally takes five minutes and it's over. In those five minutes, you could see that gamma ray burst with three different instruments, if you have your ducks in a row. The development of the telescope, which involves Lowell, the Discovery Channel, and three universities, is already providing an economic boost to the area. Lots of local people were hired for this project. So you have that infusion, plus just construction in the area is a great thing. So there's a local angle beyond just the pride of having it locally. And what is the Lowell staff looking forward to? What the future holds with this telescope. It is a fascinating instrument that obviously we care about deeply here, but really could make waves to use the festival's uh, moniker way beyond northern Arizona, really throughout the field of astronomy. Some instruments are still being installed, but research should begin later in the year. For NIZ Today with George Heckard, I'm Sarah Kolb.